Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Legend video. Novari done Supreme the Kaloran versus other Galactic Legends few months ago, however, as you probably know we had a uh, few months ago as well nerfs to many our key characters, AI changes to Galactic Legends and yes, we've got two new Galactic Legends since then as well. So it seems like a good time to go back and revisit Supreme the Kylo Ren versus other Galactic Legends, how you can take them out and as well look at the mirror match from Supreme the Kylo Ren. Uh, so let's just get started with the first one that's probably the easiest for Supreme the Kylo Ren, uh, which is Sith Eternal Emperor. Um, now in most cases actually Supreme the Kylo Ren can even solo uh, Sith Eternal Emperor, just be especially because if you just go in solo, Sith Eternal Emperor will not be able to link anybody because there's just going to be one solo character in there and Kalo can just wreck the whole team. Now this might not work against some of the teams that got some ability blocks and healing immunity uh, on their squad. Um, so you have to be a little bit careful sometimes if you do want to attempt solo. Uh, for example, maybe there are a couple of pre-taunts in there. Uh, once I tried versus was it Dooku and Seed as well with two pre-taunting tanks. And I wasn't able to solo there just because of the ability blocks from Dooku and healing immunity from Sidious. Alright, so next match I have here for you is versus Ray. Now Supreme Rock Halloran has no issues running through any sort of Ray team. He doesn't really need a whole lot around him. Just put a few characters around him, you know, that they kind of stall, delay the battle while Supreme Rock Halloran builds up his ultimate charge to full. And then it's just a case of timing your ultimate in a way that... Uh, obviously you can finish off Rey before she gets into her ultimate uh, or save it for you know when she's in her ultimate you'll go into her ultimate just to make sure that you survive but pretty much all these kind of battles here with Supreme Karan versus Rey it will end up with only Kalo versus Rey standing now previously uh, I was using Thrawn actually here um, with uh, Supreme Kalo Ren versus Rey however Thrawn's fracture no longer works uh, on uh, Galactic Legends anymore, so Throne wouldn't really be all that useful. Uh, so instead, I'm actually bringing in Treya uh, just uh, versus these Ray teams with Jedi Knight Revan, just you know to eliminate uh, the RNG who Revan will mark, because uh, Jedi Knight Revan always goes after Treya if she's there with his mark ability. He's hard coded to do that, and then the rest of the battle should be straightforward here, uh, really. So first things first, let's stun the two characters that we can stun. Uh, so Jan Skywalker and Hermit Yoda, the other three on the enemy, they, they are immune to stun, so you won't be able to stun them. I'm bringing here Invader uh, because he can land ability blocks, except on Jedi Knight Revan, he's immune to ability blocks. Uh, and as well, you know, in his Merciless, he's doing lots of attacks, uh, doing a couple of AoEs here as well, which will fuel your ultimate charge on Kylo, there you go. It's already uh, almost on the second tier of ultimate charge, just after Vader's Merciless. Uh, so it works pretty well here. And, you know, now just kind of the waiting game here. Ray will go into her ultimate soon, uh, but I can do an AoE. And there you go, ultimate fully charged. Um, and that's what, you know, Vader really brings to your Supreme Leader Color Ren because of all those attacks and everything. Let's see if we can get... <sighs> Couldn't get Jedi Knight uh, Luke out of there, but that's okay. We'll just work through it. At least we, I think, trigger damage immunity on everybody now. Um, so again, just just stand General Skywalker there. Rail, we unload her ultimate. We got a few people surviving, but I just keep pushing here. Join AOE. I will still save my ultimate for now. Um, okay, yeah, there goes the other two. Um, do you know what? Let's just do basic on Ray to trigger her damage immunity as well. And now I can go ahead actually and just pop my ultimate. Um, it's gonna be a free turn ultimate, so we should be able to finish off Ray before she gets into her ultimate now. If you see that Ray uh, will be close to take going into her ultimate, then you will want to hold off your ultimate uh, until she goes in so you can survive when she unloads. But in this case, there you go. Pretty straightforward match here, no issues whatsoever. So with two easy matches out of the way, let's go on to the rest of the matches which are hard for Supreme to Kylo Ren, but you can still make it work. Uh, so I'm going up against Lord Vader here. Now I don't have many Lord Vaders in my shard really to test this against. There was just this one that I was able to find. So I'm not sure does it have optimal mods. The optimal Lord Vader team 
is the only one I could test up against. Now, Supreme Black Halloran versus Lord Vader, it's kind of a straightforward match. You will need to bring in um, armor and what just to make sure Supreme Black Halloran survives. Um, the only danger there uh, would be timeout, so you would definitely want to load your Supreme Black Halloran, especially for Alex 7 like mine, with offensive sets. You will hardly be able to land critical hits, which will slow down the buildup of your ultimate. Um, and as well, you know, if you can't critically, dam critically hit, having critical damage on your guys is not very useful. Uh, so definitely load up uh, your Spimler Kalorain with as much offense as you can to avoid potential of timeouts. And then I'm bringing in Zombie Daka because the enemy team, they have no way of ignoring taunts. So they'll just be stuck behind the zombie forever <laughs> while Kalo is doing all the damage. So we go, let's just start off here with an AoE first, just to get advantage over on Zombie. This will now give her permanent taunt, because they will keep killing her over and over again. Uh, so the only character that can ignore taunt, but it's only for one attack, uh, is Maul when he has 5 stacks of anguish. So every time he tries to go after Daka, but as soon as he loses 1 stack of anguish, he can't ignore taunt anymore, and then he's forced to go after Zombie again. And from here now, it's just a case of uh, building up your ultimate charge, um, increasing uh, stacks of Siphon, which then obviously will increase your mastery as well. Um, we've got three stacks already of uh, Beskar on him, on Kylo as well, so he can't be critically hit. He will be counter-attacking. Um, so, you know, he's pretty much a one-man machine here. Um, but you'll see, this battle takes a while. Um, all these Lord Vader battles really take a really long time. Just because Lord Vader and Royal Guard as well, they're both very, very tank tanky. This one actually even has Kylo as the second tank. So I'm not sure uh, would the lineup with Vader be easier to defeat, because you have you don't have two tanks. And I think that Lord Vader, when he kind of uh, gets mastery, the more tanks you have, the tankier he gets, or something like that, right? So I'm not sure, but definitely versus this team. I tried once first with speed set on my Relic 7 Supreme Leader Kaloran and I timed out. So I remodded my Supreme Leader Kaloran for offense and then I was able to win without uh, timing out. If you got Relic 8 Kylo, this will probably be even easier for you, but for Relic 7 you'll definitely want to have offense set on him. So it's not really danger of you dying out. We lost armor, it doesn't really matter. She did her job, put three stacks of Beskar on Kylo. And now pretty much, yeah, what's gone as well. Oh, no, he's back. Because <laughs> Daka, she does have 30% chance to revive uh, a random ally. So, you know, sometimes she will revive somebody. But at this point, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. What did his job? He dished out tech to Daka and to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Um, there we go. We got now ultimate charge ready to be used. I'm just trying to get more out. Ah. He was able to survive just about there. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and I'll pop the ultimate. Boom. Almost got Pierre out there. Uh, let's er, er, del, dispel debuffs on uh, Daka. Okay, here comes the ultimate as well from Lord Vader. And I'm just going to keep doing AoE to keep increasing your, your damage. Um, as well as you know start working towards next ultimate here uh, but you can see these guys are very tanky very durable finally got Piet out of here um, let's see if we can bring Sunny back not really and at this point he will just want to hit auto really because otherwise yeah danger of time out here is real all right there goes Royal Guard was able to one shot him at this point um, just because of you know all the extra offense we have Okay, so I took off auto now just to make sure we take out color and unmasked and at this point Yeah, it's just 3v1 again danger of time out here, but hopefully we can get through him or not. Let's have a look um, Yeah, all right, let's heal up. Ah, oh, we didn't bring anybody back time to hit auto again So just a case of you know trying to get your Kylo to do enough damage here um, and then you know, hitting auto at some point that you don't time out. There you go, Lord Vader, taken out. Uh, up next, we got Jedi Master Luke. Um, again, you, if you have your Supreme Leader Color and more team modded the right way, you can beat them with a full First Order squad. Uh, but that, because that requires, like, you know, a particular really 
uh, modding uh, and I just didn't feel like remodding my whole first order squad just to record this. I'm showing you, I will be showing you here an alternative team you can use with Supreme Caloran that does not require any remodding, at least for my end, not, uh, which is uh, Supreme Caloran. I have him modded here for speed, and then the rest of the team will be all separatist li lineup. Uh, and why that? Because then anytime any separatist gets taken out, Grievous gets a bonus turn, he can smash his an AoE, uh, which will then help build up the ultimate on your Supreme Le Kylo Ren uh, very, very quickly. And as soon as your Supreme Le Kylo Ren, you know, gets a free turn ultimate, you should be good to go, really, from there on out. He can carry the battle himself. Obviously, we can Geo Brew there uh, for an extra character, a pre taunt as well. Uh, then B1's good as well. Um, he's got an AoE, again, helping, you know, charge the ultimate. He can heal somebody up. And then as well, if he gets marked by Jedi Trevon, he can take a lot of hits, uh, right? Because he's got, they have to go through 100 stacks uh, on him. Anyway, here comes the AoE. All right, so I'm just going to start off with an AoE on my own, just to cleanse off uh, all the debuffs. Here they come. Already lost first Separatist, so Grievous does his AoE now. He got his bonus turn. They're marking B1 now. There goes Watt. Another bonus turn <laughs> for... General Grievous, uh, let's just heal up there, Geo Brood. All right, let's do a pull, get some Siphon going as well, so we can start increasing our mastering when we use an AoE. Okay, just hold your ultimate for now. I'll give you another bonus turn from Grievous. And here you can then bring back your tank, bring it Brood. Perfect, so when he gets taken out, Grievous gets another bonus turn. Now here comes the ultimate from Jenna Master Luke already. Um, so I'm not quite full yet, so I'll just do another AoE here. Okay, here they come again. Second wave of their attacks. Another bonus turn for Grievous here. Uh, so let's just smash another AoE. There goes Revan, so I don't have to worry about his uh, savior triggering and things like that. So my ultimate fully charged. Let's just go ahead and unload it here. Uh, now it's just Kylo versus these guys, and yeah. Once you got Kylo here in a free turn ultimate, you know, he'll be able to carry this battle all by himself. That's a little bit annoying there, you know, they got critical damage immunity, but, you know, they'll, they should, they will lose it in a turn anyway. So there you go, there goes Gas, you know, you know. Jedi Master look 1v1 versus Kylo, yeah, he doesn't stand a chance, to be honest, as we know. Uh, Jedi Master Luke is one of those characters that needs characters around him in order to do something. And boom, down he goes. Alright, so let's move on, on to the next one, Jedi Master Kenobi, um, yeah, now before the changes to the AI to Jedi Master Kenobi, you could really cheese these guys with the uh, zombie Daka, and to some extent you still can cheese them, it can still work, um, depending again, a bit of an RNG I guess, uh, so we're utilizing here Simmer Supreme the Kaloran, and again we'll be utilizing armor as well to get best cards, so it's a very similar battle probably. Uh, to the one uh, versus uh, Lord Vader, where you just want to jack up your Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, build up his ultimate, and then he can get to work. Uh, so same here, you know, just Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, uh, modded for speed, really. Um, but again, if you have Relicate Kylo Ren, this will probably be easier. We always need to watch for his stack, um, so we can keep recovering health and stuff, bring in Geobrood Alpha. Uh, just so when Commander Sokatano, you know, just one shots uh, the tank, we can summon him back. Then we will need Thrawn. And here, in terms of speeds, do know that Thrawn will need to be at least 31 speeds slower uh, than Armor. Uh, because you want uh, Armor to go before your Thrawn. Okay, so that, that's the idea here. Uh, so I'm just going to put Mad Pack on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren uh, to begin with. Uh, so then anytime any unit takes a turn, he'll be recovering health and protection. I'm just going to do here uh, an AoE to get uh, advantage on my guys. Uh, so when Gaz does his AoE, he's not able to increase cooldowns just in case he goes before your throne, for example. Uh, then we'll do the special ability here. Uh, so then we get Armor Shred on Kenobi. Uh, Armor gets now free stacks. You will swap Termeter with Thrawn on her, and then you can go ahead and put free stacks of Beskar on your Supreme Leader Kaloran. And now, you know, he'll be counter-attacking, he won't be able to be critically hit. Uh, so now it's just pretty much waiting time that he builds up his ultimate. Uh, and also the AI change was there that they prioritize armor as well. 
Um, that's why they took her out very quickly, but she did her job already, so it doesn't really matter. So you will definitely need a pre-taunting tank there, otherwise your armor may be taken out before she gets to go. Um, really. There we go, we got a lonely Kylo here. <laughs> Had Jibber left. Um, and this is where obviously RNG a little bit does play uh, in the whole thing, because you know the healing immunity in your Supreme color run could be problematic. Uh, but again, if you do have Relic 8 Supreme Little Color and this maybe will be more reliable. Uh, from my testing, I was winning, I think, about 1 out of 3, really. Uh, so it can still work. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely not something I would rely on uh, in somewhere like in Grand Arena uh, and things like that, because it's not as reliable as it used to be. But, you know, you can still make it work. We've got damage immunity on Kenobi there, so all these hits are not helping us with the building up of the ultimate charge. Good thing is, here when Kenobi is uh, obviously stunned uh, and taunting, all the counter attacks will be going on to Kenobi and because he's stunned we'll be dealing damage three times, which means obviously will help to build our ultimate much faster. And this is where you have to start being careful a little bit, make sure you time your ultimate right, try to get it to a free turn ultimate if you can. Uh, however, as you can see, I've got healing immunity on me. I'm already in yellow, so I was worried I wouldn't be able to survive another round. So I just decided to pop my ultimate there. It's going to be a two-turn ultimate. But better be safe than sorry there, really. So just a case of, you know, getting to feel like, okay, <laughs> when is the time to pop your ultimate? Can you hold it for another round or not? Um, so in this case, I'm like, I was in the yellow already. Healing immunity. Um, I was, you know, I didn't want to risk it there. So it's going to be a two-turn ultimate, but at least I was able to a little bit, uh, you know, recover health and protection. Get, got rid of that healing immunity, um, increase my mastery a lot already. And there we go, we got another already ultimate ready to go. So again here, you know, I'm pretty good, I'm at full health, so I'm pretty sure my Kahlo can survive another round of attacks here. There we go, finally got rid of Kenobi here. Okay, perfect. And yeah, I just popped the ultimate now. Again, I was in the yellow, so I did not want to risk uh, here again of being defeated because you can see these guys are doing lots of attacks now. And now everybody, things got foresight here, so no sense of doing AoE. Let's just do a poke there uh, and take out Commander Sokatano. Beautiful counter attacks doing the work. Uh, here comes the healing immunity again. Alright, I'm um, just going to do here probably an AoE, get rid of those two guys, and <laughs> there goes Kenobi from the counter attack. There you go, Supreme Local Run versus Kenobi can still work. Alright, so to finish off here, uh, the video is probably what the most annoying, I mean, maybe not annoying, but it's not something again uh, I like to do, which is uh, Supreme Local Run mirror matches. Uh, these ones before were tricky, but you could get around with them with using Treya and Thrawn team that I showed that time. But again, Thrawn, Thrawn, Thrawn's Fracture will no longer hold down Galactic Legends after the nerf. So uh, instead, you know, I'll just be kind of using here a combination of um, uh, Sith and First Order, bringing Malak, you know, so you can taunt, maybe apply fear on somebody. And then again, bringing Invader, similar like versus Ray, he can get a lot of turns which will help you uh, to win the ultimate race versus the enemy. Uh, that's why Vader is in there, really. Um, so you'll see these matches do get dicey, but as I'm showing you the mods, as you can see, the enemy's got much better mods, I think, than I do. Um, but, you know, we'll still be able to pull this one off. Um, but yeah, th these merry matches are never quite comfortable uh, since, obviously, Throne got nerfed. But anyway, let's hop in the battle and let me show you how this team works. Okay, they're gonna go after Kylo there. Um, then I will stun First Order Stormtrooper because remember he can call somebody for an assist, so you don't want any extra assists if you can help it. And then here with Malak, we can just start draining their First Order Stormtrooper. It won't do anything to Kylo and Unmasked. There we go, we go into Merciless now. Uh, so because we've got all these attacks now, AoEs, it will get us ahead in the ultimate race because of us. Let's see. Alright, I'm able to land one ability block so far. Let's just do another Force Crush. Okay, let's give another turn over to uh, Kylo and let's stand their unmasked one. There we go. Okay, oh, they're going after Kylo now. There goes Vader. Uh, time to do an AoE here. Okay, there we go, Malak. 
tanking nicely there. Okay, do you know what? I'll just get first stormtrooper out of here. Okay, perfect. We got some fear on these guys. Uh, so let's just take care of Sith Trooper next. Okay, so there goes the ultimate. And this is ideally what you want. You want their Kylo to go into ultimate before your Kylo's. Just so that you can then uh, get advantage from that side as well. Alright, now as you can see we are pretty bad shape already. Uh, but I think my Kylo can still survive. There we go, perfect. And now I'm going to pop my ultimate. Their Kylo is out of the ultimate. Boom. Obviously it can't be uh, damaged when you're in the ultimate. Let's increase our mastery a bit. And then I think one poke here should do the job. Boom. Down he goes. And there you go guys. Uh, that's how this works uh, with Supreme the Kylo Ren versus other Galactic Legends and mirror matches. So after all these you know, nerfs to our key characters as well as changes to the AI and to new Galactic Legends. Supreme with the Kylo Ren can still get the job done versus some galactic legends easier than the others but you know as long as you get your mods right uh, and the starting sequence right you know you should have a good chance to win all right guys hope you found this video useful and helpful let me know in the comments below or on my discord server but until then have fun enjoy your life and may the rng be with you my friends